we go into judgment, right? And that often is... Once we get past some judgment, we then start getting into some emotions. So we start feeling some emotions. And you know, most of the time, when we first begin feeling emotions, the biggest single feeling that we generally have is, I'm going nuts. How many of you have felt you're going nuts? First time you went in, you're going nuts. Okay. So then the judgment comes back, doesn't it? This is crazy. What's AJ doing to me? Like, this is nuts. What, you know, my life was so calm before, it was so manageable, I was fine. What, what is this man doing? Why am I attracted to him? I've got no idea. And you go through all this cycle, right? How many of you have experienced that already? Quite a few? Good. Well, that's normal. That's normal. That's good. That's actually good. The reason why it happens is because we're just, we are so used to doing everything in this blinkered way that we've had all of our life that the first set of emotions we have feel like we're out of control. The idea in the end is you're going to be out of control full time. <laughs> but they're all going to be good. Yeah? Does that, that make sense? I'm serious, I know, it's funny, but I'm serious. You will be out of control all the time, but out of control will be feeling good all the time. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, why, that's why we're still here. Yeah. That's why you're still here. You're hoping sometime down the track that might happen. <laughs> right. Now what happens in this state is we usually get into this place of, of terror. Right. Most of us have it in us. We're terrified of being crazy. We're terrified of going nuts. We were terrified, in reality what we're terrified is just being ourselves. But, but this feels like this. If you could draw a drawing, again my normal stick figure style. Here's terra firma. Here's the cliff. Here's little old me. Every one of you on the divine path will get to this place. Where it feels like if you go forward, you're going to fall off the edge of reason. Every one of you will go to this place at some point. And you know what most do when they're at that place? They turn around and you head back to what they were doing before. It's very hard also to stay there. Can you imagine? It's like, imagine if you had, what's that fear of heights called? Vertigo. 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 Imagine you just stood on the edge of a cliff that's a thousand feet drop right in front of you. How many of you would go right to the edge and just stand there with your feet at the edge, your toe right at the edge and just look down? Not many of us would do that, would we? But this is what you're doing emotionally. And it's quite a scary place to be. To be in that place where you're just standing on this edge, looking down. It's going to be very, very hard for you to stay in that position too, isn't it? Can you see that? It's going to be, it's either one or two choices at this point now, isn't it? One is going, right, and just falling off of it. Or the other is walking away, stepping back, stepping back. Now what happens I find when most people get to this point, they step back, then it doesn't feel good again. They feel like they've lost ground, so they step forward, but they get to the edge of and then they step back, then they step forward. And I've seen people go through this process for three, four, five years even. Right? Step forward, no step back, step forward. And many of the spirits here in this room with us today have gone through this process for tens of or even hundreds of years. Stepping forward, stepping back, stepping forward, stepping back. You can see why it's a terrifying place to be at that edge. When you actually allow this to happen, <laughs> when you allow that to happen, what actually happens is for the first time in your life, you begin to rely on God. 
really rely on God. That's the first time in your life that you're really going to rely on God. Up until that point, you're just talking about it, trust me. Right? When you throw yourself off the edge is when you really begin to rely on God. Now, throwing yourself off the edge is not a process of sort of like self-destruction. It's an emotional process that needs to happen inside of each of us where we become totally open to all of our emotions without judgment and we become totally open to God and we become totally open to our law of attraction at that point. Before that point, we are always going back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. Or we're stepping towards that point. Now the walk towards that point is about dealing with what I would call blockages, blocks. So up until that point, what you're often doing, and this is why many of you feel at times, oh, I'm not really making any progress. Like, I haven't had a major emotional release in the last hour, so... <laughs> no, no, I mean, the last, most of us, it's the last three weeks or four weeks. Or so we, we feel like we haven't had a major re emotional release for some time, and so then we set into judgment about that, don't we, generally? We say, oh, you know, what's going on? What's blocked here? I can feel this block, but I don't really know what's happening. And we get into this state where um, we're actually feeling we're not making progress. How many of you have felt that? Where you're not making progress, being frustrated. That's a judgment. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so there's another judgment. Anyway, so... so It could be the truth. It could be. <laughs> it could be the truth. But judgments are rarely truth. Is it, I'll speak that. Is it only a judgment if we go that the block is bad? And no, sometimes our blockages can actually be what we view to be good experiences. For instance, we might be holding on to a family member that, that we really, really love, and so by holding on to this family member, we may know that that family member is going to condemn us if we make the next step, and so we're holding on to something that we believe is good. So blockages can often be stuff that we believe is good. No, but that's not what it, you meant. No, it's not. It's just like recognizing a block yeah. need not be a judgment. Oh, of course. Yeah. Nothing. Remember, I'm saying nothing should be a judgment no. in the end. Yeah. Block, blocks are just, if we, if we judge our blocks, then we've got another layer on top yeah. of them blocks. Yeah. It's far better just to see them as blockages. I think that's what Peter might have meant when he said it was the truth. That yeah. There is a block there. Yeah. So blockages are things that we need to release. Blockages are often in the form of beliefs. Do you know what I mean by beliefs? Like how many of you believe that your life is out of your control? Really here, you know? Most of us do at some point believe that. Right? How many of you believe that your life is in somebody else's control? Many of us believe that, don't we? Well, if we believe in authority, like with Carol. Yep. Definitely. Certainly. And how many of us believe that the law of attraction happens to me because God's the punishing God? A lot of us have had that belief, haven't we? Many of, us, many of you have that belief right now and you're not going like this actually. But many of you have that belief inside of yourself. Right? And the reason why is because in our childhood, our parents were punishing every time they judged us as doing something bad. They then usually punished us for doing that bad thing. And so now we have these beliefs. Now, blockages are often in the form of beliefs. And you need to allow yourself to release them before you process the emotion. In other words, you need to come to realization of the beliefs that you have that are blocking your emotion. So how many of you believe that if you cry, everyone will look down on you? If you cry here. Now let's ask the question, if I cry at work. Right, so you can see how one, like here you might feel more comfortable, right? Because we're talking about emotions. But at work, a lot less more comfortable, yes? How many of you would find it easy to yell and scream and rage, bashing a thing, if you're at work. <laughs> Do you reckon we... <laughs> we have a punching bag at work. You have a punching bag at work. Awesome. 
In the end, I can. In the end, I think that that the majority of workplaces in the world will finish up having punching bags, baseball bat, you know, all these different methods of helping you deal with your rage. At the moment, that's not the case, though, is it? So, so we get very uncomfortable with dealing even with our blockages. The key is to understand, oftentimes these periods of time where we're not feeling an emotion is the period of time when you're actually dealing with a blockage and you're not conscious of it. The key is to become conscious of it. To become conscious of this period being a time when you're actually dealing with a block and to ask yourself what the block is. Is it judgment? Is it resistance? Is it whatever it is that's causing you to stay away from your emotions? Allow yourself to become conscious of your own blockages. Does that make sense? Yes. Let yourself do that. When you become conscious of your own blockages and you deal with blockages, you're stepping further and further towards the precipice. Sounds inviting, <laughs> doesn't it? Stepping further and further towards the precipice. And then eventually, once you've dealt with almost all of your blockages, except for the last blockages, which are usually, can I really trust God? Yeah. Can I really trust myself? And can I really do this emotionally? Right? And once we get to that point, now we're at the precipice generally. 